Ryan, at 19 years old, uh, is without doubt one of the most talented, uh, brilliant young players uh, in this country, and we believe in the world. And we think very soon the world will have a new football hero. Can I just say on behalf of uh, Manchester United, we're, we're delighted with the uh, Reebok's involvement. Uh, anything that uh, helps to supplement Ryan's income and keep him in Manchester for as many years as possible, we're delighted, <laughs> <laughs> we're deli we're delighted with it. Do you sort of sometimes pinch yourself and say, is this really happening to me? Um, yes, I do. It's all happened in a matter of three years. I come straight from school, signed for Manchester United. I was in the first team within a few months, so it's all gone really quick. And now here you are being paid to wear a pair of football boots. I mean, it's remarkable, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Um, I've always wore Reebok gear when I was at school and when I was, you know, when I was just doing nothing. So um, getting paid to wear the stuff is brilliant. Last year, a lot was made of the fact that you were being kept in the shadows. You weren't sort of talking to the press, that sort of thing. Is this the season now where you're going to come out and be, be yourself? Um, I'm not too sure. I'm leaving that to the boss, really. If he feels that I'm not ready to talk to the press again, then I won't talk to the press again. And um, if he feels I'm, I'm ready, then I will. But this is your first big sponsorship deal, so you get the impression that he thinks you're ready now. Um, yes. As I say, um, it's up to the boss, really. See what he does. Last season, a tremendous season for the club. How much satisfaction did that give you? Um, a lot of satisfaction. As you, as you say, with, um, the year before, when we just missed out, that really made us think that summer. And um, to come back the next season and win it was really good. And now Europe? Um, yes, Europe next year with all the champions. That should be good. How are you going to react to everybody singling you out, looking for your performance? That really, you're going to be under the under the spotlight, aren't you? Um, well, I don't know about that. There's other players in the team. You know, 11, it's 11 that makes the team. And um, I'm not sure if I'll be singled out. People say you're really a really level-headed chap. I mean, do you see yourself that way? Do you pride yourself on being down to um, work? Yeah, the way I see it, I'm just any other person, really. I'm still with the same friends as I was at school. So I just try and keep the same person. Person. Does that help keeping those same friends? Um, yes, it does. You know, they keep me down to earth. So I'm a family. They just see me as Ryan, really. You're doing it for Wales in the World Cup as well. Um, yeah, that's right. We've got three games left, and we've got a good chance to go to the World Cup. And um, hopefully, we can do it. It'd be a tremendous thing for Wales, wouldn't it, to get to America? Um, yes, it would. We haven't done it for a few years now. Been to the World Cup, and um, it'd be good for such players as Mark Hughes and Ian Rush who really world-class players and then played in the World Cup. What does it mean to you, though, when you put on the old Welsh shirt? Oh, it means a lot to me. Um, I lived down there for nine years. All my family is still there, so it would mean a lot to me. You're Ryan Giggs, you're your own man, but people will always liken you, won't they, to George Best. Does that rankle a bit? Um, no, it's a compliment, if anything, really, to be, well, to be compared with someone that's like George Best. But um, I think we're both complete different players. Other than we're both, we were both young when we played in the first team. Both were the number 11. That's about it, really. Finally, how do you see the future unfolding for you? Um, hopefully to go on and win a few more things with United and um, Wales.